This video I wanted to briefly show some of the heart rhythms that we may see as EMTs and how AEDs can be used to treat some of them. This is a normal sinus rhythm and in this you can see there is a P wave, a QRS complex, and a T wave. The P wave is when the atria are contracting, the QRS is when the ventricles are contracting, and the T wave is when the ventricles are returning back to their normal resting state. This is ventricular fibrillation, which is very chaotic. Uh, you can look at this rhythm and see there's nothing organized about it. This is the rhythm the heart is in when we use an AED. A patient should be apneic and pulseless with this rhythm, and it's just spots in the ventricles that are all trying to fire at once. The AED will then shock that rhythm and return it hopefully to a normal beat. This is ventricular tachycardia, and you can see that the rhythm looks much more regular than ventricular fibrillation. The patient may or may not have a pulse with this, which is why it is important that we only apply the AED to someone who is pulseless, because the AED may recognize this and shock it. You may already recognize this rhythm. Um, it is flatline or asystole. Uh, the AED should not shock this. In fact, nothing really should occur to this, except we need to do good CPR and maybe we can get that back to ventricular fibrillation and then shock that. So the four rhythms I want you as my EMT students to understand, uh, be able to recognize are sinus rhythm, ventricular rhythm, ventricular tachycardia, and asystole. I know as EMTs you're not supposed to interpret in rhythms, but these are four that are used by the AED, and we should be familiar with them. Hope this helps, and if you have any questions, ask in class.